Welcome to Tech Talk with Jared Yellen. My NASDAQ community, I have such special guests for you right here, right now, all the way from Israel. These two entrepreneurs, Noam and Ohad, are doing something absolutely exceptional in, in Israel. Here's what they're doing. They built a tech ecosystem. They built a tech ecosystem in Israel to support entrepreneurs that have tech ideas that are scribbled on what we call a napkin or a hamapit. We'll speak more about that in a moment. But do you realize how exciting this is? This is startup nation. There is so much innovation that exists within Israel, but how much innovation is unrealized? Because someone just doesn't know where to go. They don't know where to go with their idea. They don't know who to trust. They don't know how to fundraise. They don't know how to build team. And these two entrepreneurs, they are the solution. Thank you for being here. Coming Thanks for all joining us. Thank you for inviting. For this opportunity. Listen, what excites you most about what you're doing with your tech ecosystem? Well, the, the main thing that excites me personally is that we're giving the opportunity for everyone who has an idea who has a napkin, or in Hebrew, mapit, that he drew something, some kind of an idea. You know, I remember about 20 years ago, I had an amazing idea, and that's before I went into, into tech, yeah. in, into the tech world. And I had an idea, and I said, okay, it's gonna change the world, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be something crazy, if only someone could do it. Yeah, yeah. And that idea, by the way, is a unique chip, or a, a a small, you know, a, a small, like an iPad that you okay. can talk into in one language and it translates wow. to another. And as you know, it's already out yes. there. <laughs> but I didn't do anything about yeah, it because yeah. I saved it, I kept it on a napkin, yes. which I just wrote and I dreamt and I put somewhere. Yeah. I don't even, rem even remember where. But now I know, hey, Someone done it already, yeah. but I had a nice idea. See, I always say never let someone other than you execute on your own dream. Where did the name come from? I know that this was something that you were very passionate about, the, the name of this tech ecosystem. Every, what does it mean and why this name? Everything starting on something, and uh, in English it's called a napkin, you know. Yeah. In Hebrew it's mapit, a piece of paper that you sit in the restaurant and you um, use for, to clean the, your, uh, your uh, hands. So you wrote, you wrote your uh, idea that comes from nowhere. You wrote it on something. This is the mapit, the napkin. In Hebrew. Awesome. So what's the vision with this? Right? Like, like, let's talk five years from now. How do we know that you made it? Like, what's the impact that you're looking to have in Israel? Well, I want and beyond, really. everyone, yeah, and beyond Israel. You know, as, as you know, Israel is the startup nation. Everyone has ideas because there are such, so many entrepreneurs yeah. in the country, but most of them, most of the people who has ideas doesn't do anything about it. They just, they just don't. Because, you know, they have an idea, they get excited, and then life happens. So we want to take it before life happens. We want to take the idea to the next step. And once you get there, once we'll be able to say, listen, we have, we have backed 500 entrepreneurs. We have backed 200 in three, five, 10 years. We change those people's lives. We made them rich, we made them famous, we made them be unique. We, made, we helped them make the next Google or Amazon or Salesforce or, or Waze. Waze. Or Waze. Yeah. You know, most of, the, most of those comes from Israel. Waze, Wix, uh, some of Amazon things, some of uh, Facebook. Yeah. You know, apps. my brother sold his company to Tell Facebook. Wow. wow. So what was the journey for your brother? So he was in Israel. So he started the company in Israel. He started in Israel. Cool. Uh, then he moved to San Francisco, and now he's in Dublin in Facebook. Wow. He sold his uh, own company to Facebook. Uh, I cannot speak what yeah, was, course, what yeah. was it, but uh, it's already runs. And what's his skill set? What's your brother's skill set? He has nothing. <laughs> he has nothing. He's non-tech. Yeah. Wow. He's non-tech. So he has he, an how idea. Do you pull it off then? He's mark. How do you pull he's it off? marketer. How and do you pull he had it off? to leave Israel in order to find the right ecosystem for wow. that. Yeah. So that's the the exact the the, the exact uh, example, because he couldn't do it in Israel. He had to move to the Bay Area in order to do it. And this is what what. I know that you guys stand against, right? You stand against people having to leave your country to find what they need. We want to democratize technology, right? That's why I even do this show. I do this show, just so you know as that community, I do this show because I am committed to democratizing technology, which means giving more people a chance to launch their tech companies, to learn how to launch their tech companies, to find investors, to invest in tech companies, and you epitomize that. So I know one of the things that you're very active supporting is fundraising. 
for these entrepreneurs. Because often, when people have these ideas, they'll start asking their friends and family for money, and sometimes they'll get a few dollars, but they have no infrastructure, they have no plan. Speak about the difference within your ecosystem with regards to when funds come in and how calculated it is in the sense of how they're used. Well, the first thing, the first difference is when someone has just an idea, he doesn't know how to explain, how to market, how to, even how to, to, to explain the, the investors, the friends, family investors, what is he going to do? I mean, I have an idea and I want to do something about it, but I need money. Yeah. Here, within our ecosystem, he will have, once he'll go to the friends, family investors, he will have the program, he will have the, the uh, business plan, he will have the infrastructure, the marketing materials, the idea, the due diligence. Awesome. You will have the financial uh, planning into the so whole it's not, it's idea. Not an anymore, so it's right? not a napkin anymore. So it's not a napkin anymore. He comes to his friends, to his family, and when he wants to raise the seed money or even the pre-seed money, yeah. he doesn't just say, I have an idea. He said, I have a plan. Yeah. I have uh, a Project 10K backed plan. Yes. I have a group. I have people. I have a company. I know what I'm going to do. I already had a due diligence for this idea. Now I can raise the pre-seed money. It's so exciting. Oh, and you always talk about it. Really, everything started on a napkin, right? It's like there's no company that just comes out of thin air. Like they, they, don't, they can't bypass that step. So that excites you, right? Mm -hmm. But speak about that. Everything starts as a concept, but then the entrepreneur sees it as more than a concept. Speak into that. The one that has the idea is not the one that can sell the idea or to raise money for this idea. Uh, that's different persons. The one, the, the one with the idea should develop the idea, think about the next steps, and other people should do all the rest to market, to raise the money, to, to be the CEO of it. This is not the same person. So in this ecosystem, we split the job between several persons, several um, professional um, persons that can take it and, and, Support, and, yeah. and do all the job for this idea That's to awesome. make it come true. That's awesome. You so, know, there's so a saying, Tell me. do what you do best, outsource the rest. Yeah. And if you're a non-tech, you have a hard time outsourcing the rest because you need a lot of money. Yeah. But within this ecosystem, you don't have to outsource, you have the whole team. It's in-source. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's and awesome. that's the huge difference between someone who just has an idea to someone who has a, a full ecosystem behind him. Yeah, that's exciting. So you guys are very successful. You have a, a real estate investment firm, a coaching and consulting organization, probably even more businesses than that. Why add this to the pot? Like, why did you feel called? Why did you feel responsible to bring this tech ecosystem why to not? Startup Nation? First why of all, not? why not? Anyone can do it. Second, 20 years ago, I was in a high tech company. I was uh, the chief technology officer and I had no idea of, on how to program, how to do things. I had to rent, I had to pay for all of those. And looking at that, remembering that, is that the most unique thing an entrepreneur can have in the tech area is someone who knows how to do it because you have a lot of ideas. Most of them stays on a napkin yeah. because you don't know how to do it. And now when we have the back, we have the connections, we have the connections with you, we have the connections with Grant Cordon who, who work with. We can help the non-tech entrepreneurs to do what they do best. You think about the idea, you lead the way. We'll help you with setting up the company, with financing it, with uh, programming it. Yeah. With, uh, you know, with the group we have in India, we have a whole programming company, software company in India. So we have everything in cost. So we can help anyone with an idea to take his idea to the next level, to the market. And no one has to go through the things we had in the past. And together with the whole, all the, the group of companies we have, we know how to help to coach the founders For sure. to help to teach them how to be uh, financially uh, independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We help them how to do the business side because we have the boot camps, and we know how to take them from a non-tech who has no idea in business, take them through the tech side together with you guys, together with the ecosystem, 
through the business side, together with our groups, together with, with the Grand Cardon uh, group, and up to the market so in one place, in so one ecosystem. We teach and mentor people to create multiple flows of income. Yeah. And if we can help them uh, to create another one, maybe it will be the, the biggest most, one, yeah, the yeah. biggest <laughs> one or the next exit. Yeah. Uh, and we have the system uh, and we have our funnel, the mindset, the, the financial planning, and then uh, how to run it out uh, and invest in it. So why not? Yeah. You know what the most rewarding part of it too is? Because because our, our NASDAQ community, they, they know that I'm the founder of Project 10K. This is our Israeli partners here. I couldn't think of, of better people to work with from track record to character to integrity to commitment to work ethic to relationships. The most rewarding part is who the entrepreneur becomes on the journey to the exit. Because as much as we care about building, scaling, mm -hmm. and selling every company inside this portfolio, every company inside the ecosystem, we care way more about who they become. They need to become a better pair. They need to become a better significant other. Their health needs to improve. And I know that matters to you guys. Because what often takes place in, in the world of entrepreneurship is people feel like they need to grind. They need to muscle. They need to bleed their way to success. And in the process, they might get there and their kids hate them, their spouse doesn't even know them anymore, and their health is compromised, they have autoimmune challenge. And we just stand against that. Exactly. We stand for have it all. Why does that matter to you? Because you're a parent too, right? You're a successful entrepreneur, you're a parent, you're a husband, so are you, Ahad. Why does that matter, the have it all outcome that we're producing with every entrepreneur? Because it's simple. You can have the money with no family, so why have money? You can have the great company, but without friends or without revenues, or without your kids beside you, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So you need to learn how to do everything together. You know, I have three kids, I have two, and we have several companies. We work, I know, 27 hours a day. <laughs> and still we have time, we Always. find time, we make time for, sure. for those who matter. Yeah. So when we have the ecosystem behind us, we can outsource, insource yes. the right things to the right people and stay focused on the right things in order to get the company, the, the, the business done, in order to get the entrepreneurship done, in order to get the exit yes. in the future and stay safe and stay logic yeah. and stay, you know, in Happy, shape. Happy, healthy, abundant, all that. Exactly. So speak to NASDAQ right here. Where should they go to learn more about what you're doing? Go to Hamapit, C-O-I-L, Hamapit, H-A-M-A-P-I-T, Hamapit, C-O-I-L, subscribe, get your ideas into, and we'll take it from there. Yeah, it's awesome. Listen, NASDAQ community, I am honored to introduce our partners here all the way from Israel, came out to Miami to share this opportunity with you, to share what they're doing in the world. Listen, there are tech ideas everywhere. There are napkin ideas everywhere, and most of those ideas will end up in the graveyard, and we stand against it. We stand for actualizing people's visions. We stand for helping people hit their moonshot. We stand for impact. I encourage you to visit their website, learn more about what they're doing, connect with them on social, get involved, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now.